Kia ora. I would like to share with you a legend that we believe is true. I stand here today on this beautiful land called Aotearoa, specifically on the North Island where we the Maori call Te Ika a Maori. This I would like to tell you how it became. For those that don't know, we the Māori were the first to have superheroes. The world has the Fantastic Four. We have Māori. Māori tiki tiki a tārana. Māori who was born in the top knot of his mother tārana. You can take Māori for daylight savings for his home, who slowed the sun down and gave us longer summers. Māori also went to the depths of our beautiful land to fix the fire so we may use it every day. But the story I would like to share is the story of how Maui caught this beautiful island, Te Ika Maui, the land we stand on today. So Maui was a demigod. His father was a god and his mother was from the earth. He was the youngest son of seven. His brothers were very jealous of Maui because he had special powers. One night, as they were talking in their little house, their whare, Maui overheard his elder brothers talking about going fishing the next day. Maui quickly asked, can I come fishing? The brothers quickly said, no, you cannot come, for they were jealous, because Maui had special powers. Maui, feeling hurt, decided he would try and trick his brothers, and so he pretended to go to sleep. When his brothers went to sleep, he quickly jumped and he went and hid himself in the canoe. For Maui had magical powers and one of those was to allow him to change the form of his shape. And so he turned himself into a little insect and hid himself on the canoe. The next morning, the brothers awoke quickly to try and run away from Maui. They quickly hopped onto the canoe and began the journey as they rowed out. To their fishing spot. When Maui thought they were too far out at sea, he appeared and showed himself to his brothers with a cheeky pukanga. His brothers startled said, Maui, you trickster, how did you get on here? Right, they turned and noticed they had indeed been too far from the shore, so they could not turn around. They told Maui he could stay, but he would not do any fishing. So when they got to their fishing spot and the brothers began to fish, Maui asked, may I have a fishing line? The brothers quickly turned him down and said no. Maui remembered that he had a magical hook that was gifted to him by his grandmother. He pulled out his magical jawbone hook and he fastened some korari or flax rope around. He still needed bait. He then turned to his brothers and says, Bros, can I have some bait? Once again, they denied him. But Maui remembered he had something special himself. So he punched himself in the nose, which made it bleed. He smeared the blood onto his hook for his bait. As he was casting out his line, he began a karakia, or a prayer, to the god of the sea, his uncle Tangaroa. Owe Tangaroa Humai Te Kahaki Takuhi. My uncle, the god of the sea Tangaroa, please favour my hook so I may catch a fish big enough to show my brothers that I deserve to be here. No quicker had Maui thrown out the hook and it gone under the water when the fighting grabbed the hold of his line and a tug of war began. The fish went first. Maui pulled back. He quickly turned to the brothers. Harabai! Harabai Daihi! Talking to his brothers, he says, I need your help. The brothers said, no, Maui. You catch it, you think you're the man. So Maui began his fight with this beautiful fish. He began the tour and he called upon his ancestors. Oh, doia maite ika. And he began to pull in the fish. Slowly, he began to win the battle. And the fish started to rise to the top. 
of the sea. As it did this, the brothers quickly realised how big this fish was. And they wanted to be part, so they quickly jumped on and began to help Maui pull the fish in. Maui realising that his uncle Tangaroa had not only given him a fish, but it was a big fish, big enough that it would feed many, many people. He turned to his brothers and said, Brothers, please do not touch the fish till I come back. I must go see Tangaroa. Tangaroa, the god of the sea, and thank him for this beautiful taonga or gift he has given us. Unfortunately, no quicker had Maui gone to do what he had said when his brothers once again turned on him and said, we will not wait for Maui. Let's go and cut the fish up and say that it was us who caught this beautiful fish. So they jumped out and started hacking at this beautiful fish. Tangaroa, the god of the sea, watching and saw what happened, became very angry. So in his anger, he turned this beautiful fish into land and rock. Those brothers were cast throughout the land and became statues on mountains that we all connect back to. And so we believe the land that we stand on right now, the North Island, we call the Ika a Maui. So if you look at a map, you will see that the North Island looks like a stingray, with the tail up at the top at Cape Leanga and the head down the bottom at Poneke or Wellington. This is the story of how the North Island became the Ika a Maui, the fish that Maui called. Tihei wa mauri ora. Hi guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We are so thankful for all the support we get, and we would love it if you would subscribe to the channel by clicking here. Help us continue our journey recording and sharing the music and stories of the world. <laughs>